Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert. I'm continuing with my journey through all the free stuff that you get with Pro Tools. And we've been through things like comps and gates and some stuff already in DSs. We'll look at Sansamp, which is uh, quite an old plugin really now, but has been a real staple for many of us working with Pro Tools for years and years. And it's, there's a reason for that. It's because it's just so, so damn good. And what Sansamp is was really one of the first guitar modeling plugins around and, and uh, a lot of us continue to use it because it has some great features and uh, I'll go through them uh, with you. It's got eight knobs on it and dials and they can dial in a huge amount of variety. Now, the cool thing about Sansamp is it's, it's used a lot on guitars, but people use it on vocals, on drums, on mixed buses and all sorts of stuff like that. Now, the first thing it, that's worth doing when you get Sans open is hitting the Alt key and clicking. It doesn't matter where these are. Let me just get this to any kind of setting. Clicking the Alt key and getting these guys back to basically the Unity position. So if we press play now and bypass it, it's virtually Unity gain going on there. But you can still hear there's a change in sound going on. So that's the first thing to try out. Now, uh, let's go through each thing. Now, the preamp, this is the first one here, that determines uh, the sensitivity of the input stage and can add preamp distortion. So what we can do, if we start playing this guitar, bring the level down a minute. So, so beyond, below that arrow there, it's going to be clean, and beyond it, you start getting break up. So if you want a super clean sound, you'd pull this right down as far as you want here, and then push this one up. You can hear that then, if we push it, if we pull that back down again now, push that all the way up, you get real input stage distortion. Straight away, just a little bit like that. You can hear it makes quite a bit of difference straight away. And the next one is the, the buzz control, and nothing to do with Toy Story. That's to do with breakup of low frequencies uh, and, and overdriving that. So if you turn that up, you'll start to hear the, uh, the low frequencies break up. So let's make that clean again. So it sounds like it's a bass control, but it's more than that. It's actually adding low-end harmonic content. And you can hear it's getting more buzzy, hence the name. You hear the buzzing at the bottom end. So put that on the, here's a, here's a back position pickup. Just up in here a bit. So let's put those two back to where they should be. And then we've got punch, which is mid-range. So on that kind of telly, sort of that Stratocaster sound, you could pull that right out. You want to get a really glassy sound. You want more mid-range. really really in your face you can push it right up again and again we're getting break up there it's a bit like a Marshall front end that is so put it on this one now so as you can hear you can, enormous amounts of variety Uh, then we have Crunch, uh, which uh, sounds like a, I love the names on this, it sounds like a cereal here. And that uh, brings that harmonic content at the top end and uh, a pick attack on the guitar. So if we put this back on again. Do you want to back off the pick attack? You could pull that back a bit more. 
push that up a bit more. You hear that's now much less pick attack in there. Then there's power amp distortion uh, in drive. So you can hear that's a different kind of distortion, the preamp distortion. The harmonic top end there is 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 getting more distortion, whereas this one on the power amp distortion. Then of course we have low and high, which have been specifically designed to work on this kind of content. Now what I will say is straight away, try some of the uh, three, two. Now one place I would say straight away is start looking and just trying out some of the presets that it comes with. So for example, the 147 uh, and 122 preamp settings. Let me just bypass that. This is the original guitar. You can hear that making it, making it sound like it's going through an amp. There's the original. And again on this one. It's got some real body in it there, and that's what it's adding. And then the second one. More presence, more top end. But as you can see, it really brings guitars up in the mix. But what we can do is, of course, we can bring back all the levels and the uh, preamp, push that up and start getting some really nice distortion. Make it really thin. But go through some of the presets because some really nice stuff in here. There's the kind of stuff here that you can see, but actually then go into the uh, stuff like the Sansamp factory presets and you've got some really nice stuff like a vintage. And the names are pretty self-explanatory. Of course, different music is gonna sound better with that. So, uh, classic clean. Sort of a stratty sound. So we pull that back again. So you can make it really sort of have no mid in it or lots of mid in it, but it really, really is worth going through and just trying those out, especially on guitars. Sansamp is such a, a great fallback uh, plugin that's often the one that you choose when you're trying to get some really great guitar sounds. And then as I say, go through them and just try them out, but especially go in the Sansamp factory, factory presets, but also it's, as I say, there's some like an AC30 Queen here. <laughs> You can hear that the, the uh, EQ in particular is very responsive. But for me, some of the favorites are actually just coming back into these very early ones and uh, 122 and uh, 147 preamps. The change it brings to that guitar. 
and that one in particular, lovely. So there we go, that's Sansamp, great for guitars, great for bass, great for drums. Try it out, and I think you'll then use it as a go-to plugin. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.